Howdy do world, I'm Rusty and I'm going to show you a trick on the game Fire Emblem Gaiden that will allow you to gain an unlimited number of the item known as Swift Soul. Swift Souls increase your movement by two, but if you're looking for this video, you probably already know that. Anyway, to do this particular mission, or quote-unquote mission, I should say, Right after you power on the game, go to the Lagdo Ruins. Alright. To perform this trick, you require a unit whose movement rating is exactly 7. Place that unit and that square. It doesn't have to be that square. It just has to be a square where they can waste a particular... I'll show you the trick here, because the trick here is you're going to be tr tricking the random number generator into using a random number early. This is also very useful for other games, too. Anyway. After having done so, go ahead and start the level and select Erica. Follow my movement pattern. Now when you move into the square where my general, which is Gilliam, is, you see how the path changed? The game wasted a random number deciding to move to show your movement pattern that way. You must do this 13 times. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. See how on the seventh time it was different this time? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And 13. After your 13th time, retreat. Go ahead, save, do whatever. But here's where it's imperative. You go back into the ruins. Now remember this white unit right here. Retreat from the ruins. One time. Two times. Ooh, a spear. Now, if only that were droppable, that's worth a pretty penny. Three times. Da -da 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 on the third time, you will obtain that swift soul there, and it's on it, and it's droppable. So, go ahead, use your units, go in there, kick some arse, bloody freaking blah. Oh, um, something to note about that, um, unit there. No, 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 no! He moves. He will move to greet you. Which is gonna make this a ton easier. Also, something else to note, if you're a money whore, like some people are, dang it, which one are you? There's also a Melduin down here who has a dragon shield. That'll also boost your defense, too, for those keeping score. And you're just outside of Ennis' range, so... I hereby leave you in my will a boot to the head.
And there you have it, Swift Souls. Now you can retreat. By the way, this works every time you do this, but you have to start at the ruins. And you must also power the game on as you start this trip. By the way, again, Swift Souls can be sold for 4,000 gold. So once you've got your units maxed out in their movement or moving as far as you want them to, you can also use this as a great way to make some gold. No, I haven't actually used this trick to do so. I've just finished the main storyline. But anyway, I thought to, after reading how to do this, I thought some people would get some benefit after seeing how it's done. I'm Rusty, and this has been my... Well, I can't claim the trick as my own, but this is my video for showing you how to do the Swift Soul trick. Now remember, folks, this is the... I can't stress this enough. The trick only works right after you power on the game. But with that, I bid you adieu, my friends.